like the last time I got a checkup. Tell me the password. Now, are you going to cooperate? Oh, God. Tell oh, me. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Just don't shoot. Let me think. I'm going to get in there. It's just a matter of time. Tell me the password. Look, I already told you I don't have it. I'll help you find a way in. But listen, we, we took the girl fair and square. All we want is a little compensation in return. You are in no position to negotiate. Okay, okay, it's just... Let me think. Time's running out. No, please, wait, you, you, uh, you can have the girl... Uh. been following me. Get over here. Are you here for the scent? If you're not here for the synth, then you're here for me. What do you want? And just who is this synth, anyway? A fugitive. Runaway Institute property. I'm shutting her down and bringing her back. You, on the other hand, will die like the rest of them.
Commonwealth can take a real toll on you if you let it. I've seen this place make monsters out of men. Use a little help over here. Hey. He... He deserved to die. I know you're not here for me, but... I can't get out. Not on my own. I'm going to have to trust you to help me. Who are you? We'll talk once you open the door. I promise I won't run. The guard put the password in a toolbox. Over there, under the stairs. Use it to gain access to the terminal. And open the door. Hi. He... He deserved to die. I know you're not here for me, but... Thank you. I don't know what to say. Who are you? My institute designation is K-198. But I prefer Jenny, so yes, I'm a synth, if you hadn't already guessed. I knew they'd send a courser. I just didn't think you'd find me so fast. I think I would have lost him too. But then I was captured by these mercenaries. And all this happened. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna look for supplies before heading out. And before you ask, no, I don't need any more help. The Commonwealth is unforgiving. I need to make it on my own or I'm dead. Maybe we'll meet again under better circumstances. I hope we do. You're back. The glowing sea. Virgil. What happened? Do you know anything about decoding courser chips? A courser chip? You fought a courser? Oh my god. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths, but never a courser. I don't know what that chip does, let alone how to decode it. But there are people who might. I work with a group that, well, they're the only ones I know that even have a chance at cracking Institute security. They are called the Railroad. The Railroad? They help since escape the Institute. I don't know who they all are. Usually an agent of theirs just shows up with someone who needs new memories. One of them gave me a code phrase, said it would help me find them if there was ever an emergency. Follow the Freedom Trail. Any idea what the code phrase means? I'm not sure, but I remember there was a pre-war landmark with a similar name. I'd start there. Hopefully they've placed other clues to tell you where to go after that, hidden somewhere in plain sight. That's how they think. All right. I'll find them. Good luck. I'm sorry what I have is so cryptic, but hopefully you can figure things out as you go.
five R. Spins. Ah, so it starts with R. went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? I just heard a rumor about you guys, in Good Neighbor. Very interesting. Last question. Why are you here? I tracked down and killed a courser at Green Tech Genetics. Now I need help breaking the code on his courser chip. You have what? This is not a joking matter. I didn't know we were having a party. 
What gives with my invitation? Oh, I see you invited the Courser Killer. Nice. Deacon, you're late. You're saying this intruder actually killed a Courser? Single-handedly? <laughs> oh, that'd give even Gloria a run for her money. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. If you're done interrogating him, you might want to show this Courser murdering machine a little courtesy. Hmm? Just a thought. I owe you an apology. Anyone who kills a Courser is good in my book. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. Who are you people, exactly? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the synth's only friend. Des, we need to let him in. He's got an intact courser chip, for God's sake. That violates our security protocols. To hell with that. He killed a courser. There's no way he's working for the Institute. We're letting you into our headquarters. You're the first outsider ever to be given this privilege. We'll discuss the details about your chip inside. a Courser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Oh, hey, dude. You need something? Tom, our visitor here has a Courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh, man, it's been ages! Right. Some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done, we get the Courser chip. Why do you want the Courser chip? Institute Tech is light years beyond what we have, and a Courser chip is top of the line. I'm not gonna get into details, but that chip could help us save lives. Maybe throw a wrench in some of the Institute's operations. So, hand over the chip. Fine. It's yours. All right. Tom, make it happen. All right, little Corsa chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer. Excuse me. Give Tom time. He'll get that chip decoded. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. How many cents cleared the What? Oh, oh man, don't, don't, don't crash. Don't get together. Memory here, go. Here he comes. Yeah. Encryption algorithms. All right, I'm still running. The Institute must have been tailing me. Oh man, they've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be. Come on, baby, show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait, they're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh man, we got lucky. I got you, you Institute bastard. I got you. Software in. Come on, show me that sweet base. Come on, baby. Then we got it. We got the code! <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Hey, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you, I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear, if you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. Don't try anything, stranger. If we're going to be dealing more with each other, I need to make sure that we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Yeah, I know all about them. Good. 
The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Why does the Institute treat them that way? They're playing God, tinkering with things they don't fully understand. From that lofty vantage, it's easy to deny their creation's very humanity. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. Someone with your skills, your beliefs, normally we'd try and recruit you. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. You didn't see anything suspicious coming in, right? Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Your leader was just being cautious. I'll take hurt feelings over becoming the Institute's plaything any day. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. Don't worry, I'll keep your secret. That's what I want to hear. So Dez wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me? Just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's gonna be a wild and dangerous ride, but probably nothing new for someone like you. Sign me up, then. Perfecto! Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Blue, you got a minute? Something up? Well, yeah, but it's nothing bad. Just... what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and... what you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she gonna have if I never go near her again? It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. Do people actively avoid you? Well, yeah. I mean, I didn't exactly start the paper to make friends. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. It turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. It sounds like things got better. For the city? <laughs> yeah. For me. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, 
friend and confidant to Piper the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. It started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now, now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. I feel the same way. There's no one I'd rather have watching my back. And I'll be there for you, as long as you'll have me. Now, come on, let's hit the road. Hey.